Hi, hey, how you doing? Battle King here. Hopefully we finally get started modeling with an object. Yeah. Before we only learn some basics, how you rotate your object, scale them, grab them, and stuff like that. About the camera, the light, and the cube. Well, as you can see here, object mode. Now we're in the object mode. In the object mode you can move your objects, rotate them, and all the things I've learned you in the last tutorial. When you click here, oh man, okay, when you click here, you see only the object mode is available. That's because we haven't selected an object. Now the lamp is selected. Now the cube is selected. If I select cube and click here again, you will see there are a lot more objects. I go in edit mode. Ooh, the cube looks a bit different. Well, you see, the cube is all orange now, so that means all the edges are selected and all the faces are selected. Well, a basic thing you have to know, these points here are not the edges. The edges are these lines, so that's an edge, that's an edge. These points called vertex. So that's uh, that are the vertex, that are the, the edges, and that are the faces. That's the basic thing. I had a lot of trouble because of this. So now it's uh, all is orange. That means everything is selected: the faces, the edges, and the vertex. With the A key, so if you press A on your keyboard, you will deselect everything. If you press it again, you will select everything. Deselect everything select everything, you see? So, if, when, I, when I go on uh, the vertex right here, press the right mouse, it selects that vertex, as you can see. Well, I cannot select the edge here, or the face. That's because, as you can see here, I'm in vertex mode. When I go in face selection mode, I can select the faces. When I go in edge select mode, I can select the edges. Well, mostly you will stay here in vertex selection mode. So now I select an edge. As you learned before, you can grab them with G. So I press G. Now I can grab that. Kind of cool. Control set, step back. Okay, now I want to select two edges at once. So I select the next one. Oh man, that one isn't selected anymore. So how the fuck do I do that? Well, pretty easy. Just press Shift, the button um, on the top of the control button. You can select both. See? So Shift, right bumper. Great. Now I can move both of them. I can rotate them. And I can scale them. And the cool thing is, if I select all the vertex of um, of one face, it selects the face. That's the same effect if I go to the face selection mode and select the face. So that's exactly the same. So now I'm again in vertex selection mode. Scale, grab and rotate. Ooh. Okay. So if I want to do a really high tower, I could grab that thing up. Ooh, shit. I can grab it. So I want to grab it exactly along exactly direction sky. So ha, huh, you see it isn't directly into the sky. It's a bit a bit on the left side. So control Z back. So I press G for grab. And then I press the middle mouse button and you see uh, that line. If I if I move my uh, mouse it's as you can see it moves the object along that axis. Just by moving your your mouse right direction you will see you can change them also this. 
So now it's exactly direction sky. Perfect. Good. Of course you can do the same thing here. So now for the next thing. So if you can see all the four edges and you want to select all four of them then you can press B on your key B and you will see that coordinate system here and by pressing the left mouse button down you can drag this and all the vertex inside here will be selected soon great nice uh, yeah just a faster um, possibility to select more vertices at once. Well the problem with this is if you don't see all the four edges, so one edge, let's say this one is behind the wall here and you try to do this, you will see uh, you will see this one isn't selected because it was behind the wall. So you have to select this one too and you get the same effect again. Ooh, get back. So, we got the default cube now. And let's scale a bit more. So, of course you can scale these guys too. You can scale things like that too. Don't make much sense, but you can scale everything you want. Cool. Now, Let's say you want to do a house or anything like that. So you need maybe more vertex or edges. That's kind of easy. You just pr uh, press Control R, Control R, and you got that pink line here. So you can select a side you want to uh, make a new cut. Press left mouse button. You can select where you want to do a new cut, and say, okay, yes, I want to do it here and you got a new cut. Don't forget to deselect your vertex with the A key and select everything with the A key again. And then you can move such amazing thing there. If you want to do more cuts, as only one I did here, you can rotate your middle mouse button and you will get more of them. Now you can, for example, you can choose this one, say, grab up this guy, and you got a little cool, I have no idea what that is thing. Isn't that cool, right? So, if we press Ctrl R now, you will see the pink line arranges itself by the things we've already done. So the vertex goes now through its already moved object. So we can choose this one here and grab them up the sky again. So we got that cool thing. That's a little house, isn't it? Right. <laughs> Very easy basics. But you have to know how to, new, to how to do new cuts. That's very basic, but you have to know it. Two cuts. Select them to grab them up. Select the middle one, grab it up, and you got a church or some kind of thing like that. Well, that was a thing about the edit mood. And of course, if you go into the object move, you can't move any vertex or uh, edges. You just can move the object in object mode. If you want to change anything on the object, go as a, uh, so select uh, the object, go in edit mode, and you see you can move all the things you want. Well, for the beginning, you will not need all the other ones. They're a bit more advanced. So. I hope you enjoyed. You got a, you learned some bits more about Blender 2.56, and we'll see you in the next video. See.
see. Yep. 